Hey there, I'm Ken. Welcome to CRT. If you remember from a previous episode, I got a hold of two beautiful looking uh, Macintosh LC475 computers. Um, if you haven't seen those uh, videos yet, the links are going to be up here and down there. You should check them out. They're beautiful looking computers. Anyways, um, now that I've got both those running, uh, I've uh, got to do the next most important thing about having these old computers, and that is games. How do I get games onto these old computers? It's, uh, there's no USB drives or ports or anything on them, so you can't just download things onto a USB stick and uh, put them in. Uh, you've got to either find uh, original disk uh, copies of the games, or um, I came up with another solution which will hopefully work. So that's what we're going to try today, my second solution. Let's check this out. From another previous episode, you may remember me getting the floppy emu, which is a floppy drive emulator for my Apple IIc computer. Well, with the right upgrade, this also works with the Macintosh computer. So, I'm going to unhook this from the disk drive port on here. Then we have to take out the memory card and go over to my modern computer. So we've got to plug the memory card into the computer. And then I'm on the Big Mess of Wires website. I just got, have to go down to the uh, firmware downloads and download the firmware for Macintosh and Lisa computers. Now you have to take your um, firmware.xvf and replace the one that's on there and your femu.bin and replace the one that's on there. And once that's done, you can shut this computer down. Now we have to put the memory card back. Okay, and now at this point the uh, new firmware on there is not initialized. So we have to hook this up to the Macintosh. So and we have to disconnect the three and a half inch disk drive. So the floppy emulator is now plugged in. So now with the floppy emulator plugged in, we can give it power. Now to install the firmware update on here, once you have power going into it, you have to push and hold the forward and backward buttons then hit reset and hold it until it is updating. And once that is finished updating, you have to now push the backwards and select buttons and hit reset. And it's updating. This is all the instructions on how to do this are available on the Big Mess of Wires um, website and also when you download there is a text file that tells you how to do all this. Okay, now we should have it uh, ready for uh, loading some Macintosh games. So we go into the games folder on here and then we select Oregon Trail 
First one we'll try. Hit select. And it opens it up on the desktop. It shows up as a disk icon. So it thinks that you have a disk inserted. So there you go. Now take Oregon Trail and put it onto the hard drive. And it has finished copying onto the hard drive. So we can eject the disk. Now I can turn the computer off. Power it down, disconnect the floppy emu, and reconnect the three and a half inch drive. So now I can take one of these old disks that I got a hold of, pop it in. Now, what we will do is reformat this. Okay, so I have reformatted this disk. Now I can open the hard drive up. And take Oregon Trail and drag it over into the disk. And we're once again copying it now back onto a three and a half inch disk. And it is done copying. So we open up the disk and see that the file folder is in there. And all three programs are in there. So we can close that off, eject the disk. And I now have a disk backup of Oregon Trail. Now, you may ask, why am I making these disk backups? Because I've got it on the hard drive in here. But I've got two of these computers and I don't want to fill them both up with the exact same game. So now, reason number one is I can now play Oregon Trail on either computer. And we will take this over to the other computer to test it out to make sure that everything worked out fine. And here we are at my other LC-475. So we have the Oregon Trail disc here. And in it goes. So let's try running it. There we go. And it looks to be working. There you have it. I've uh, used the floppy emu to download some games onto the hard drive, then copy the games from the hard drive to make three and a half inch uh, disks for backup. Now, why am I spending all this time making these three and a half inch disk backups? Other than to be able to play on both computers, I think it's a good idea to have backups of these because these hard drives are old and um, I am thinking that they will probably fail any time now. So it's a precaution. I'm also going to make uh, backup disk copies of uh, boot disks. So I'll have some OS 7, OS 6, boot disks and be able to still use these computers even if the hard drives fail for now. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing me use some new technology to get the old technology up and running to its former glory. Um, if you did enjoy this, you can give it a thumbs up, you can subscribe to the channel, you can comment below, you can do two of those things, you can do all three of them. It's your choice. It's up to you. Um, but if you did do any or all of those, it would be greatly appreciated because it helps my channel out a lot. Anyways, um, I'm going to go now and uh, continue copying some games and other programs over. So see you next time.